Hey guys, we are in Sebastian, Florida. Sebastian, Florida is just south of Melbourne, Florida and just north of Vero Beach. So on the east coast of Florida, central east coast, and I'm just driving through a residential street uh, right off Route 1. Uh, looks like uh, there's some kids here. I don't know if they're going to a prom or a party. Uh, but this is a nice uh, residential community. Uh, I would say a middle class, nice homes. The homes range here from about 200,000 to 400,000. And uh, this is, uh, you know, this is not a tourist area. This is uh, people who have made a home here in Sebastian, Florida. Sebastian, Florida is very laid back, uh, very uh, quiet. Like I say, it's kind of like in a dead zone. It's not South Florida. It's still considered like Central, but Melbourne Beach has more going on and Vero Beach has more going on. Sebastian, Florida is just very much isolated in some regards, uh, very relaxed feel. Um, there's a couple gyms, of course there's supermarkets. There's the amenities you need, but there's not a lot more. There's not, not, there's not a lot of uh, nightlife. There's not a lot of uh, hustle and bustle. So depending on what you like, you're, you're still 10, 15 minutes max away from the Atlantic Ocean. So you're, you're well positioned to still live by the beach, uh, live in a pay, uh, safe, peaceful community. I'm not sure about the school systems. Here's a house for sale by owner on the right. We'll go down this street. Like I said, I was taking a look. It was like a log cabin, log cabin home for sale for about two hundred twenty thousand. Property taxes were about a thousand dollars. So I'm just kind of driving around different communities and getting a feel. Here's a house for sale by owner. I think it says about two hundred fifty thousand. Property taxes not homesteaded are probably around uh, fifteen hundred a year in this area. It's a nice little house. So, again, I'm just driving around Sebastian, Florida. Ever been there? Here's, like, a cute house with a, um, a little, like, swing chair. It's got nice uh, foliage. As I make this, it's uh, January 2021. Uh, today was a cold front in Florida. It was about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, as the high next week it'll be back to the high 70s 80 degrees but this is um, outside the normal of south florida or even you know central florida where there's not you know there's still this lush landscaping but there is not a lot of um like spanish style decor houses these houses are you know houses that you would see just about anywhere in america the siding is just standard like shingles uh, like I said, I even saw one log cabin style house. You see you got families and um, kids just playing. This is very much a family orientated town, it seems like. This is not for bachelors. This is not even, there's probably some retirees here in Sebastian, Florida. Look at this big boat here underneath those palm trees to the right. But um, it's, got a, it's got a very melatonin feel. Uh, like I said, but this is a uh, middle class, strong middle class. You see these homes, uh, they're priced very strong, you're, you know, safe, quiet. So if you're trying to live, a, live in, if you're trying to like, uh, you know, get that tropical living a vida loca feel, you got to go further south. Uh, but if, you know, if you're not into that, if you're not into like the real, you know, congested or, or even just a little bit more vibrant, if you like the really laid back, Sebastian, Florida has some options. I mean, these home prices, we're going to go in the sun here. I'll, I'll turn off away from the sun so you get a better feel, but Sebastian, Florida, uh, these prices are pretty strong, even for like entry level houses in this area. So that's, uh, a little bit of a surprise to me, but, uh, you know, I just want to give you guys a feel. I know how exciting it is. Okay. To think about living in Florida, uh, because I grew up in New Jersey and I did not, even though I'm, I was, I'm thankful for New Jersey, the opportunities, opportunities it presented to me, I, I never had a vision of retiring in New Jersey. And I learned as I got older, the longer you wait to downsize, the harder it is. I learned how important it is to be in good weather, to get sunlight, vitamin D, 
I learned how important it is to live a downsized, simple life so you can focus on working on yourself, not your house. And so we're just driving around Sebastian, Florida, looking at houses. But remember, if, if you're looking to move to Florida, it's not really about the house. It's about the location because there's some bad locations in Florida. Here's another, again, strong middle-class home. See, with just like a regular decor, you can find that house in Colorado and Idaho. Now, you won't find this winter weather in those states, but the home decor and the, and the street, this street looks like a, a street in any other state uh, in America during the summer or springtime. Uh, you know, maybe the, you'll see some palm trees here. That's the difference. But it's uh, Sebastian, Florida has got that feel of, I don't know, it doesn't feel like Florida in, in the sense of the architecture. That's what I'm trying to say. But what I was saying is, you know, it's just so important to get out there and, and to not just focus on the house, but focus on the location you want to live because there's some bad parts of Florida and, and focus on spending your time doing the things you want. Let's just, I'll just turn in this house here. Take a look. So small house. Uh, this is probably about a 1,200 square foot house. This house is probably priced around 200 to 250,000. Um, cause you're getting a pretty quality neighborhood. Uh, you got a single family home, single story, which is nice. Got, you know, cute little yard, quiet area. Uh, property taxes probably be between 1500 to $2,000. So Sebastian, Florida, take a look, you know, look at realtor.com, look at Zillow.com and you'll see, you know, but, but other than like Zillow and realtor and all that stuff, you know, Look at what you want to do with your life. Like here's a cute house too. See, like here's another ranch house. Got like a little carport. See, a lot of these houses are ranch style because again, you know, like the seniors and the people they don't want steps. Cute house. See, these are cute houses. You know, like even the house next to it, very cute. Cute houses, like not overdone, uh, but not like rinky dinky mobile homes. Like a good medium. Uh, strong middle class neighborhood we're in here. Here's a little pond and a park uh, to the to the left. Look at this here. Can I go down the street yet? Here's a little pond and a little walking park. Very nice. So this is a, a you know, like I said, a quaint community, quaint area. It's one of those areas that you can find and you could kind of make a new life for yourself without being bothered. You know, you're probably not going to run into someone you knew from uh, Michigan or Idaho or upstate New York. You ain't going to find them probably not in Sebastian, Florida. You know, and sometimes in life you need to restart. You need to, uh, you know, I don't want to run into people I know from when I was younger. Not because I have like any death enemies or anything, but it's just because like, I don't know, man. I, I want to go forward. I don't want to, I don't want to talk about the past, man. It's, it's nothing bad. There's nothing to hide. It's just that. It's hard to explain, but when you get to a certain point in life, you just want to go forward because just tired of talking about the past and you don't want to run to people you know. But um, I'm hoping these videos are inspiring you, encouraging you. Like here's a, a pickup truck in the back. That's probably that's probably the biggest like little eyesore I've seen since driving around this community. This is a regular community um, at about four o'clock in the afternoon on a weekend. Uh, I want you to just get a feel. I want you to just know that somewhere in the world in January in the winter, uh, it's close to 70 degrees and that's a cold front and that's South Florida. Even Sebastian, Florida, very close to be considering South Florida, but still, still on the um, central side of things. But see guys, you know, there's no like riffraff, there's no like real red flags. Um, and this is what you have to do, not just look at the house you're looking at, you have to look at the surrounding neighborhood and uh, anything bad can happen at anywhere, you know, but, you know, you, all you're doing is mitigating your risk in life. There's no guarantees in life. Uh, across the street here, here's probably an upper middle class home right here in this corner. I would say that's probably about three fifty dollars to 400000 Very nice house. But it's not like overdone. It's not like tacky. It's not like I'm trying to be South Florida, no state income tax, rich in your face. So yeah, I'm enjoying my little drive through um, Sebastian, Florida. 
On the weekends, I just like to drive around. As a nomad, get outside your 60 mile radius, venture out. Here's another little cute house. And I'm very grateful, very grateful, guys, for all my members of the channel, all those who watch. You know, I joke around a lot like this is, you know, side hustle, etc. But I also enjoy making videos. It pushes me a little bit. Uh, and it keeps my time productive and doing healthy things. In life, you have to learn to fill your idle time with productive time. Uh, because uh, idle time will destroy your life. You'll, you'll hang with the wrong people. You'll eat the wrong thing. You'll do the wrong thing. Manage your time. Manage your time manage your time. Very important, guys. And uh, as I say that, I just, uh, here's like a, a little house here with a Class C RV parked in the driveway. See that? Very nice foliage. Cute. That's a cute little home base. I know you can't see the house, but maybe you can see the Class C. That's cute. Yeah, this was a, a little inspiring, refreshed drive. Just driving around uh, some areas in Florida making videos. It's sunny. Vitamin D is soaking up. I got my sunroof down. I'm just cruising very slow. There's no traffic. Life is better in Florida. So glad that I sold my house in New Jersey. I have no desire to go back there. Um, I love Florida. I'm very grateful for Florida. I'm very grateful I went through the painstaking thing of uh, downsizing and selling my house while I was still young enough to enjoy being outdoors and, and have a lot of energy to, to be inspired. So thank you for watching. Uh, click the blue join button if you'd like to support the channel. Thank you again to all my members. I will see you in the next video. Remember, live urgently, but don't rush. Meaning that, you know, don't just like live like your hair's on fire. But at the same time, if you don't push yourself, if you don't put timetables on things, if you don't have an urgency to live your best life, you're going to get seduced into just wasting time. And that is wasting your life. All right? Peace.